Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I recently shared a very detailed review about the Dyson Air Straight, their newest hair tool, and I did mention that I wanted to share a review of the Dyson Air Straight compared to all the other Dyson hair tools because I have those. And so I figured that it was going to be a long video if I included it all together at once. So I filmed several clips of myself comparing the Dyson Air Straight to each of the other Dyson hair tools. I timed them, I'm showing like the actual differences in each of the products or the tools, and of course the end result of what my hair looked like. So I did do a lot of talking during those clips and so I'm, I don't want to bore you here with all this additional information. So I'm just going to insert those clips and let you watch them so that you can see very clearly the difference between each of the Dyson hair tools compared to the Dyson Air Straight specifically. Okay, I have my hair air dried because that is really the way to show you the true comparison be between the air straight and the corral obviously it is a little bit wavy and not straight at all so we'll see how good of a job each of them do you know at a first glance there are some clear comparisons so for the air straight this one uses air so these are not hot plates whereas the corral does use hot plates so this one has actual heat this one uses just hot air this one you have to plug in whereas this one can be used cordless obviously like you have to keep it charged so you can just charge it and then use it cordless so that's another difference and this one obviously you can use it on wet and dry hair whereas this one you can only use it with dry hair or on dry hair in terms of similarities i mean they both open the same way you can close them and then pull this down and it stays closed and then for this one close it pull this thing up and again also closed they both have screens like lcd screens so these ones will indicate you know, like temperature, things like that. Same thing with this one, it has it here. It'll tell you the temperature and the battery life and anything like that, but that's pretty much it. This one tells you a little bit more things, like this one tells you when to clean the filter, which obviously this one has a filter because it uses air. This one does not have a filter, but they both claim that they can straighten hair from dry. So we're gonna compare that. I'm gonna do my left side with the Dyson Air Straight and then the right side I'll use the Corral for. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna put that hair, that side of the hair up and we'll get started. Now I also want to compare how long it takes me to, you know, strain my hair with one versus the other. So I am going to use a timer or a stopwatch, I mean, just to time this and figure it out. So I'm going to turn this thing on first, set it on to the dry setting and then get started. Stopping the timer at 3.53. Well, 3.53.53 very quick obviously i am pretty pleased already with what it looks like there was an area here that i still think is not really straightening too well but i don't want to just put in excessive heat but this area here was literally giving me a lot of trouble with getting like straightened so i did have to do a lot more pass-throughs but otherwise i think i'm pretty happy with it it looks relatively straight we'll see how different this one is in terms of time and how straight the hair ends up but i'm pleased in three minutes definitely perfect now with this one you turn it on and then you have to press the plus button and then you have to wait until it heats up it'll beep again once it's ready to be used there's a beep we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the stopwatch and it has started and obviously a big difference between these two is that you can hear me with this one like the other one is pretty loud whereas this one it, it makes zero sound or like zero noise I also feel like with the air straight, my hair feels a little bit more staticky. I think maybe like the air, whatever, like the hot air just leaves my hair a little bit more staticky than this one. Like at the end with the air straight, I was like passing it through and then I had these little like flyaways just going out there like full on static. Okay, I'm stopping the timer at 231.70. So I'm pretty pleased with the results. My hair looks pretty straight. It was not as hard. I think what took me longer with this one especially was I literally had a really hard time getting this area to be straighter. It was, I had this big wave there and I still feel like it is there. Whereas this one got straight pretty quickly. I mean, there was obviously a minute and 20-ish seconds difference. So nothing crazy. I mean, I don't think you're gonna be, you know, significantly late somewhere because of a minute and 20 seconds, but this one seemed to be faster. Now, in terms of straight hair, I feel like the air straight, again, left me with a little bit more like static and flyaways. Like it feels like my hair just keeps pulling up and I'm not really liking it. I'm gonna have to, you know, I typically always add a little bit of a hair oil, but I definitely feel like I need to with this one. Whereas this one just feels like it's just straight and smooth. I did have a harder time, as I mentioned, getting some of these areas straightened, like straightened. Whereas this one I feel like was pretty easy and straightforward, like just 
a couple pass-throughs and that was done. I didn't have to focus in an area. They both feel pretty straight though. So if you're going for the straight hair look, I think that either one of them is going to work. They're definitely going to give you that. But again, I do think like the biggest difference for me was, well, besides like just the minute, which is not that significant, but it was just the fact that with the air straight, I was having a harder time getting everything to be straight. Whereas the Corali was just like pass it through and it was like no issue. Whereas I feel like this one still has a bit of that wave here that I when a couple like went over it a couple of times and i feel like it never got fully straight and i don't want to add any damage to my hair so i don't want to keep going through with heat but just one thing to note is if you really want like super straight hair then maybe the corral but obviously like this one offers the convenience that you can straighten your hair straight from like right away after you wash it so it goes from wet to straight if that's what you want like if you don't want to have to wait to air dry it to then use the corral obviously like this had that advantage and I do feel like when I have used it from wet hair it does work a little bit better like it does I think because it doesn't allow my my hair room to get wavy then it helps now I'm going to turn back and show you and this is going to be the side with the air straight and then this one is going to be the one with the corral so again corral air straight and looking back using a mirror to actually see the back of my head I feel like the Corral definitely did a better job of keeping the entire hair straight, whereas this one, I still see some waves there, which I think were the ones, yeah, I can feel it. They were the ones that I could not get to. So again, if you're styling from dry and you really, really want just stick straight hair, the Corral might be the better option. If you're looking for something that is going to work for you from wet hair to styled right away, or, you know, also having the option of using it with dry hair, then I would say the air straight might be the better option. Now for the air straight and the air wrap, I would say one of the biggest differences is obviously the fact that the air wrap has a bunch of attachments. So the air wrap is what they call a complete multi-styler because it basically has the ability to curl your hair if you wanted to. You can, you know, just use a paddle brush and straighten it, or you can style it like a blowout with this kind of attachment, the round brush. So you are able to play around with it and do different styles, whereas with the air straight, you can pretty much just achieve like straight hair. There's definitely no curling with this one. I mean, you can maybe get like a little bit of like a blowout style because if you, you know, if you just like try to go up styling it, but you won't ever get curls like you can with the air wrap. So what I'm gonna do, because it has a bunch of attachments, obviously I'm not gonna compare it to the curling because this just I mean there's no comparison one curls the other one does not but what I am gonna do is I'm actually gonna use it like I typically use my air wrap when I do use it and I use the paddle brush and I use the round attachment so I'm gonna use both like I typically do I typically just go through with the paddle brush and then I end up with the uh, round attachment just to give it a little bit more shape and then I'm gonna use the air straight to style it I can already tell that it's gonna be a lot longer when I time it with the air wrap than with the air straight just because I'm gonna be switching attachments and you know just in general that one definitely took me a lot longer but first things first so with the air wrap just like you do with the air straight you dry your hair a little bit first even though mine's been drying quickly and so it's already getting a little bit drier here but basically you have this attachment and this is the one that you use to just get air out of the air wrap to dry it out a little bit now i do have the old style of the air wrap like the I guess first edition the new edition has less attachments because it has this one attachment that both dries your hair but can also be used to just like style it with like no frizz and things like that and then it also has just the curling rod or whatever you call that is only one because now it instead of like having two directions like two rods with a separate direction like mine does mine has one for like you know away from your face on both directions now the new one, you literally just press a button and then it goes around, you know, counterclockwise or clockwise. Now in terms of similarities, the air wrap and the air straight both need to be plugged in. So that's definitely a similarity. And they both have filters because they do run on air. So you also need to clean this filter. However, this one does not have an LCD screen that notifies you when it's time to do so. So now I'm gonna do my right side of my hair. This one is gonna be with the air straight and then the left side, I'm gonna use the air wrap for. So. For the time being, I'm just gonna put up the air straight side of hair. Now I'm just brushing this out and I'm gonna start with this one, just drying it out a little bit. So you do have different control temperatures. Um, you have the hotter, medium, and then cool. And then you have also different air pressure. So you have like more air pressure versus, or airflow versus medium and then less. I typically have them both up on the maximum. Haven't had any issues, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I forgot to time this. It's literally only been like a second. So 
Let's start over. Stop watch is at zero and starting now. Okay, because my hair was slightly drier already, it had been air drying quite a bit now. I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed with the attachments. So I'm gonna start first with the straight paddle brush. I'm just gonna brush my hair real quick just to prevent any sort of breakage from tangling just because of the airflow. But again, I go through with the paddle brush attachment. Okay, now this one makes my hair just mostly straight. And then what I do is I always add the round attachment afterwards just so that I can get a little bit more volume. Oh, and then to take this off, you literally just pull this down and then you pull this up. Okay, stopping this now, 3 minutes, 34 seconds, and 85 milliseconds, so not bad at all. I mean, if you can get the entire hair or your entire head just done in 10, less than 10 minutes, which I typically do, it's already amazing. So here's the side with the air wrap. I still gotta do my air straight, but again, I like to style it straight, and obviously because I'm comparing the air straight and the air wrap, I'm gonna try to do everything as straight styling. One thing about the air wrap that does like doesn't happen to me with the air straight is it literally... A lot of my hair comes out sorry that's gross but a lot of my hair just falls out because this and the paddle brush attachment just typically gets the hair tangled and so that's kind of annoying that i do feel like my hair is like ripping out every time i use it and even if i like separate into individual strands it doesn't matter like it still happens i think it's just because of the airflow plus just like trying to style it at the same time my hair just gets a little bit tangled in the process of it and then it just ends up coming off like falling out now let's do the air straight so I'm gonna have to do the same thing where I use it to dry my hair a little bit first and then proceed to style it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on and while it does its cleaning, I'm just gonna start the timer. Okay, stop the timer. I feel pretty pleased with the result now. So I can stop it at two minutes and 47 seconds and 91 milliseconds. The other one was 334, so just under 50 seconds of difference, which nothing that significant i mean 50 seconds is not gonna necessarily necessarily you're gonna make a huge difference okay here's the end result this is the air straight this is the air wrap i feel like this one has started losing some of the straightness i don't even know how to describe this but it's getting a little bit more wavy now than when i first you know got it styled whereas this one is you know i feel like even when i style it and then like i you know i'm on like day two of like no wash hair day or whatever it still feels pretty straight this one also feels more smooth whereas this one feels like it's just more frizzy and just puffy in a way like this just feels like very straight and smooth now i'm gonna you know put it all back so that you can compare and so again this is gonna be the air straight and then this is the air wrap air straight air wrap I'm looking at it with this mirror and I feel like you can definitely see a difference. Like I feel like the air straight is just a lot straighter whereas the air wrap even like at the like on the ends it has just like a little bit more of a wave in a way. Which obviously like I did use the round brush attachment but I did flip it like both sides so that it was as straight as possible. And the hair does look a little bit more puffy on the air air wrap side but it's still you know good styling like if i didn't have the air straight i would still continue using the air wrap like i was before however i'm just like a huge fan of the air straight and i feel like i'm definitely just gonna continue using that one over my other dyson hair products or tools and i feel like the air wrap is just really good if you want a complete styler like i said so if you want to have something that does curls and you know straightens hair and has that blowout look so if you're looking for something that can give you multiple different looks the air wrap would definitely be the way to go however if if you really are just like me and you just prefer to have straight hair, the air straight definitely does that above and beyond. Timing wise, I mean, 50 seconds is really not that significant, so I feel like that's not that much of an impact. And I do feel like for traveling, the air straight is easier just because it's literally one thing, so you're not taking multiple different attachments and stuff. And so I feel like in that sense, this one's also more travel friendly. But ultimately, it's up to like you and whatever it is that you need when it comes to these two. Again, if you're looking for something that can do multiple different hairstyles, then the air wrap might be the one for you. But if you're just looking for something that does a quick and easy straight hair, the air straight i 1000 percent recommend okay now it's time to compare the air straight versus the supersonic hair dryer this is the dyson hair dryer i would say there are not that many similarities when it comes to the hair dryer and the air straight obviously it's just you need to use like a brush and everything with it so i am gonna use my round brush with this one because 
I mean, you need something. Whereas like with the air straight, you can automatically already like style it as the, you know, the tool goes through your hair. So definitely different there. I mean, they do have a filter. So I guess that's a similarity and they're Dyson, but that's pretty much it. So again, same thing. I'm going to split my hair in half and then I'm going to do one half. My left side of my head is going to be the hair dryer, And then I'm going to leave the right side for the air straight. Now I didn't do this before because I feel like it's easier to use the air wrap, the air straight and the corral just even as is so I don't typically like split my hair into different sections but with the hair dryer I do actually do that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that but because it's all part of the process <laughs> I'm gonna actually start the timer with this because it wouldn't be fair to say that this is not part of it when I literally have to do it because if not it just doesn't work properly so I um, have a very strong feeling that the hair dryer is definitely going to be a lot longer to style my hair than any of the other tools and especially the air straight but I'm going to go ahead and get started so here we go start I literally just scratched myself with a hairbrush and it hurts really bad so this is already not going too well now I'm actually going to change the attachment on this one to the this just like smooths out the flyaways because the hair dryer does leave me with a lot of them and we can stop it now at 7 minutes and 15 seconds and I don't like how my hair looks. It definitely, I mean it's somewhat straight but it just looks so puffy. And mind you, this, the hairbrush, which is, it's not the hair dryer's fault at all. But the hairbrush really did scratch me and it hurts really bad. So I'm not having a fun time right now. But anyway, the hair has been dried. It is somewhat straight. It does, again, it is like straight but it does give me a little bit more... I would say volume and it makes it look a little bit more puffy in a way than the other like stylists do like the or hair stylers I mean like the air straight and the corral whenever they straighten my hair it's just so much straighter then when I have to ice this I'm literally like not even being dramatic it actually hurts really bad that's what happens when you're trying to like focus on a camera and a mirror at the same time and you just like completely like lose it the hairbrush just completely went over my skin so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the air straight side the right side so that i can style this one this was seven minutes and 15 seconds i highly doubt that for any reason the air straight is going to take me any longer than that considering it literally has never taken me that long like while well, i've been doing the comparison of these things so i think the hair dryer is definitely going to lose this one so i'm going to start with drying it like using the functionality for this one to dry my hair out first for a little bit before i like go on and actually move on to straightening it or styling it seven minutes and 15 seconds and 29 milliseconds was the hair dryer i'm going to reset this so that i can start from zero with the air air straight Stop there right there two minutes and 38 seconds okay less than three minutes versus the other one was almost eight minutes that is a significant difference compared to the other dyson tools that i have used this is by far the most significant differences the other ones had all been under a minute which doesn't make that much of an impact however when you consider the fact that this is literally just over five minutes difference and then when you combine it in two sides then you've already got like let's say 10 minutes that is a huge difference like 10 minutes can definitely make a big difference between what you can accomplish in the morning or not i mean again it's not like you can save the world in 10 minutes maybe you can but i'm not saying that i'm just saying with 10 minutes you can definitely do a lot more things you can prep some breakfast in 10 minutes and you know that's a that's a huge difference so now when it comes to these two this one i feel like is a lot more smooth and just like full on straighter whereas this one it doesn't get as straight like it is straight but it still feels like it has a little bit of a waviness in there another huge difference there is like zero chance for injury with this because you're not using anything else pretty much just this tool whereas the other one or i shouldn't say zero chance because i guess you could maybe like hit your head or something but the hair dryer though this thing is i'm like really salty about this even though it's completely my fault but the fact that like i was just trying to like hold my hair with the brush and everything this is why i like barely use my hair dryer for like actual styling i mainly use it like or used to use it now not so much since i have the air straight but i used to use it just to like mainly rough dry my hair and then i would sometimes use the diffuser attachment but that was pretty much it with this now i feel like why would i ever go back to the hair dryer like this this is painful again i fully admit that it is user error but it's still like not fun and then took me so much longer like literally almost four times as long so that is like you know a big like a big difference for this one i do think that the clear winner is the air straight if you are going for like straight hair again this is the supersonic hair dryer side and then this is the air straight i'm just gonna pull it back so that you can see the difference so air straight hair dryer 
I just feel like this one is literally the best tool that Dyson has created. If you like straight hair, I feel like I can't, you know, like stop saying that because I don't want to mislead people into thinking that you just can use this one for everything because you can't use it to give like proper curls to your hair. But I do feel like if you like having your hair straight, this is definitely the tool to go with. It's faster. It's just one tool. You don't have to change any attachments. There's pretty much no chance of injury and it gives amazing results. Like I just feel like my hair is so straight and smooth that I really, really like it. And so I feel like for me, this is definitely a game changer on the way to go way more than any of the other Dyson hair products but especially especially over the hair dryer well that is it I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that it was helpful I definitely feel like the Dyson Air Street is a winner across the board like for me I feel like this is definitely the one if I didn't have all the other tools I would have just gotten this one and probably never gotten any of the other ones however they literally I'm pretty sure they did this on purpose, released this one last, or I can't even say last because I'm sure that they're gonna come up with something new again. But this is definitely the latest after all the other products that they've already released that I very much fell for and bought. So now I get to keep them, <laughs> but I know for a fact that I'm gonna be using this one mostly. Anyway, if you have any questions or any comments or anything that you wanna share, you can do so in the comment section. I'll leave a link to all of these Dyson hair tools just in case you'd like to shop any of them, and you can find that in the description. If you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.